Canada prides itself on being a multicultural country, but lately, politicians have been speaking out against extremism in some groups, specifically against some Sikhs who support violence to create a separate homeland in India. Liberal MP Ujjal Dassange is on the record as saying the extremism in that community is worse now than it was during the time of the Air India bombing. He joins us live from Ottawa. Mr. Dusange, why do you believe that extremism is on the rise in this country? Well, I, I think that they believe that multiculturalism gives them a protective shield, and then, uh, then our view of political correctness gives them a further protective shield from any criticism whatsoever. What do you um, mean, a protective well, shield from multiculturalism? Well, in the sense that in, in the name of multiculturalism, uh, there's a certain mystery that uh, shrouds uh, whatever different people might do. We never inquire into what they do, uh, either inside a temple or outside a temple, because we believe that people are free to express themselves and do what they please. Um, you can't have violent portraits uh, inside a temple, uh, portraits of assassins and the like, and. Uh, and, uh, and then uh, say, as politicians, uh, that if that temple is leading a parade in a particular place, as long as they don't show the same portraits outside in the parade, we're going to walk with them. I think, I think ultimately we have to determine that these things are not acceptable, that there are certain, you know, multiculturalism brings us to a place where we begin to emphasize all of the differences and forget the commonalities and the values that bind us. And if you continue to in that direction, over time I'm afraid that you will have very little social cohesion, which is a very important thing for Canadian society, now, and you will have much diversity. Well, this is a very important tenet, as you know, of our country, and some would say to date multiculturalism has proven to be a workable solution, that in fact we've had less friction, less violence in this country as a result of those policies. Do you think really? that the actual policies well yes really? <laughs> many do defend well, that well, well you know we we had our taste of first generation terrorists born and raised in india but uh, living here uh, who masterminded the air india bombing we've had the uh, taste of now second generation kids born and raised here many of them the toronto 18 many of them were born and raised here uh, they were wanting and prepared to do violence and terrorism to canadians and maim and injure them in the name of something that happened 10 or 15,000 miles away. Uh, ultimately, uh, if, if that is our measure of success, then, then I think there's a real problem. Mr. Dessange, uh, it's sometimes that the diaspora in a country is, is uh, more vehement, more emotional, uh, more extreme sometimes than actually in the country where they originated. Do you see that, that extremism is more prevalent in Canada than in India in, in that community? Absolutely. I mean, there's right now, there's no extremism in Punjab. I was there in January. I go there a couple of times a year. The Sikh, uh, a Sikh is the prime minister of that country. I mean, if, if everybody hated the Sikhs, uh, they certainly wouldn't want to have a, a Manmohan Singh uh, as the... Uh, I'll, uh, my worry is, ultimately, these uh, diasporic things would become Canadian problems. They would not be, you know, for, 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 for instance, Armenia and Turkey are, are enjoying uh, improved relations. They're talking to each other while the Armenians and the Turks are going at each other in this country about a motion that had been passed in the House and why it was passed. And I know those are important issues. But if we are so obsessively and exclusively focused on those issues to the exclusion of most common and important values and issues in Canada, then we're not really building a society that is socially cohesive. So just, uh, uh, just briefly, I'm sorry to jump in here. We just have a moment left. What do you suggest Canada does? You talk about temples being protected by, uh, by these policies. What would you advise? Well, I, I would advise that we should actually abandon political correctness and start talking to each other and start asking tough questions of each other. That's very important. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, interesting topic. Liberal MP Ujjal Dassange speaking to us from Ottawa.